hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you my best luxury purchases for 2023. So this year, I haven't bought that many items um, because I was still doing renovations for my house. I had just gotten my house then doing renovations. So I didn't have a huge budget um, in terms of luxury purchases, but I was still able to cross a few items off my wish list. So if you're curious to see what my picks are, then please keep on watching. So I didn't really know how to organize this video. I was debating whether I should organize it by category, by brand, but I ended up deciding on doing it by um, chronological order. So we're gonna start with my first good, of course, luxury purchase for 2023, and it's this beautiful VCA Vintage Alhambra uh, five motif bracelet that I have in white gold and mother of pearl. So this is um, a bracelet that I wear every single day, um, even when I go to work, even um, you know when I like run errands or stay at home or um, yeah, so basically every day. It's been an amazing purchase. Um, I feel like the price was expensive. It always is, it's VCA. But I can tell you that since I've gotten it like about a year ago now, the durability and the wear and tear is like amazing. So since I wear it every day, um, I was concerned when I first got it that, you know, there was going to be wear and tear, that there would be scratches, that the mother of pro would kind of fade because I would wash my hands like every so often and that of course, you know, water would get on the bracelet. But really, it hasn't been the case. I mean, quite frankly, this uh, bracelet looks brand new. It looks like I just got it and I got it a year ago and I wear it every day. So I'm very, very satisfied um, with this purchase. I feel like I love the look of it. It looks really nice um, as like a stack with the Cartier Love bracelet. The Cartier Love bracelet is very bland, you know, it's very kind of mm, whatever, like it's, you know, it's like a, like a bangle. Um, but this really dresses up my wrist. I feel like it's very girly, it's very feminine, it's subtle. Um, but the people who are, you know, in the known um, know what it is and that's what I appreciate about this bracelet. It's very comfortable as well. Um, it's not something that's going to, I don't know, slip off of your wrist or open itself or anything like that. I actually did have several links uh, removed and I can still um, open and close this bracelet by myself. It's obviously not as easy as the necklace um, that I have. But it's something that I can still do by myself fairly easily. So that's something that I really appreciate about this bracelet. Next up, we have a bag from Dior and it's a Dior Bobby bag. In size medium, in color latte. So I'm so proud of myself for getting this bag. I told myself that I would never get a white bag, that it was too dangerous, that I couldn't take care of it properly. And quite frankly, I've been incredibly happy. Um, I was very concerned at first about wearing it. I was concerned that um, if I wore it, I would damage it. I was concerned that therefore I would never take it out, um, but it really hasn't been the case. Um, I'm obviously still very scared of getting color transfer on it, so I never wear it with dark denims or dark fabrics. So far, so good. <laughs> um, there hasn't been any color transfer with it, but like I said, I'm super careful. So I tend to wear this with like, I don't know, like a baby blue dress, like a little pink top, like that kind of stuff. Never anything dark, because I would be so scared. Um, but I'm very proud of myself for getting this bag and I love the way that it looks. I'm not a huge Dior fan. And obviously it seems weird because I have a bag like right behind me. But those are my two, um, only two handbags from Dior and actually only two items from Dior. I don't have anything else um, from that brand. But really I think that I started getting more and more into it and this handbag has been the best. I love the fact that it's very uh, practical. So it's obviously a crossbody bag 
the strap is adjustable which is good for me um, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you know by now that I am 5'11 or 180 centimeters so kind of giraffe size um, and so for me um, you know crossbody bags are not going to always work for me I need special crossbody bags for special people like me um, so this one is one of them that's what I like about it um, it's very practical I feel like the bag doesn't look bulky um, it looks kind of thin it looks small but um, you can actually fit quite a bit in it um, it's not you know like a big bag it's not going to be a tote bag of course not but it's still roomy enough that you can fit a little bit more than your essentials, which I like, especially for a day bag. This is a bag that I would wear, you know, on a day out and about in the city, if you're going to brunch with your friends, like that type of stuff. So, you know, I need a little bit more than just like my card holder and my car key. I need like a little sunscreen, maybe like a, a lipstick, you know, like something like that, like sunglasses that I could put um, in there if I'm going inside or whatever, or if it starts to rain, um, like here in DC, every time, like literally every time in the summer. But um, yes, so this bag is insanely practical. The price was still very reasonable, um, given the fact that it was a Dior bag, I think. Um, you know, I didn't feel like it was uh, robbing me of money. Sometimes now for Chanel bags, I'm like, this price has become absolutely ridiculous. Um, but this was still fairly reasonable, so definitely one of my best luxury purchases of 2023. The next best luxury purchase of 2023 has been this um, necklace that I'm wearing right now. It's the VCA Vintage Alhambra 10 Motif Necklace. I have mine in white gold and mother of pearl and quite frankly, this has in my mind been the very best luxury purchase and luxury investment of the year. I am incredibly happy over the moon. To have this necklace I feel like it's gorgeous every time that you know I see myself with it even if I'm having a bad day even if things are not going according to plan even if things don't really go my way uh, when I see myself with this necklace like I'm smiling um, every single time this is actually um, a necklace that I've done a review for very recently on my channel so if you're curious to see that review then I will go ahead and leave the link in the little information link over here for you to see it um, it's amazing, um, the durability is really good, very little wear and tear, very comfortable to wear, very easy to put on and to remove, very classy, elegant, timeless, feminine, I mean, quite frankly, like, I can't say enough good things about this necklace. I feel like it's, it's so elegant and it really, really makes an outfit, so right now I'm wearing like a plain black top, you know, nothing like very special nothing out of the ordinary but really the fact that I have this necklace on dresses up any type of outfit that's what I love about this necklace I tend to wear a lot of plain clothes I'm kind of like plain Jane when it comes to that but really this necklace brings a lot of attention to my neck it makes me feel girly it makes me feel like I'm dressed up even when I'm not next we're going to have this Goya tote bag and I think this is actually the least expensive item that I am going to show you in today's video, but it has been the most awaited one. I waited for this bag for such a long time. I actually went to pick it up in New York um, because, I mean, it was very hard for me to get this bag. Um, they, number one, do not have a store in DC or anywhere in the area. The closest one was in New York. Number two, um, they do not have like an online store, they do not ship, you have to like call the store, pay like an extra amount of money and not see the bag in person and have like no possibility of returns or whatever. So I felt very scared of doing that. That's why I wanted to go in person and I am so, so glad I did. I was initially going to get the Artois tote bag in size medium and I ended up getting the Saint Louis in size PM and I am very glad that I did. I think that this bag looks perfect for me. Um, it's the perfect size, it's the perfect shape. Um, it's not bulky, but it's not teeny tiny either. Um, I love that about this bag. I was scared, <laughs> again, I'm always scared. I was scared of getting it because um, it's 
it's not a very structured bag that's for sure and I don't know in my mind like I love structured bag I love a good structure bag this is kind of like um, uh, first mistake I think that I've made when I first started building my luxury bag collection was to get slouchy bags um, and I ended up you know having to sell them by the way this is one of the mistakes that I did mention in my video titled mistakes that I've made when I started my luxury bag collection so if you're curious to see other Lauren mistakes then I will go ahead and leave the link to that video in the little information link over here for you to see it but yeah, I mean, I was so concerned. It took me like four months to get this bag, but in the end, I am so glad. Um, it's very carefree. It's very like Parisian chic. I love this vibe. It's perfect for me. Um, it's, it's really, you know, everything that I was hoping for in a handbag plus some. Um, I was looking to replace, um, not maybe fully replace, but but replace like 80% um, my everyday bag, which was a Yves Saint Laurent East West tote in black. This is still a bag that I do have in my bag collection and that I take to work. I feel like to work, it's fine. It's a bag that I've had for three years that has uh, the handles are getting like damaged, um, the corners are starting to wear off, um, but that is fine for me for a work bag because you know, I mean, who's gonna like look at your bag at work? I'm a preschool teacher, so I don't think that like my little five-year-olds are going to be, you know, extremely invested in what kind of bag I'm wearing. Um, but this is a very good errand bag. So whenever I have like errands to run um, and I don't want to take out my Yves Saint Laurent one, this is my go-to and it's been really one of the best purchases this year. And lastly, the last great luxury purchase that I've made this year have been these beautiful earrings from VCA. They are the VCA Vintage Alhambra earrings and I have them again in Mother of Pearl and White Gold. So this definitely matches my set. I have the bracelet, I have the earrings, and then I have the necklace. So in my mind, this was the perfect piece to complete my trio. I went back and forth in the store for a very, very long time in between these and then the size um, suite, so which is like one size down. I felt like these were a little big for me. I mean, I'm tall, um, definitely, but I'm like skinny or thin. So I went back and forth for a long time. I felt like sweet would look a little bit too babyish on me, too much like, I don't know, like a little girl, like not very adulty. Um, but then these I felt like would be maybe a little too big, but I am so, so glad I got them. I feel like looking back, they really are the perfect size. They are extremely comfortable. So these are actually not my first pair of um, VCA earrings. I have exactly the same ones, but in yellow gold and onyx. Um, and these ones were my first expensive um, piece of jewelry actually all together, I think. And, and I love them and I cherish them a lot. Um, the wear and tear has been amazing. Like zero wear and tear, quite frankly. So the durability is awesome. This is something that you're going to be able to pass on to your children like in like 15, 20 years. It will still look good and it will still be in style. It's something that's timeless. It's got this like classic, classy elegance to it. That's what I like about these earrings. They're extremely comfortable. Um, quite frankly, like I forget that I have them on all the time. Uh, they're easy to put on, they're easy to remove. You don't have to like damage your nails. I either have gel or press-ons. Um, and so for me, that's kind of a big factor um, of how I decide to buy earrings. I don't wanna have to like, you know, really go in there and kind of dig and try for a long time. I don't have a lot of time and I don't wanna damage my nails. And the sweet ones were definitely a lot more difficult to put on. I had to have my SA help me. Even then, you know, it wasn't easy. So definitely a good choice. I love this size and I love the look of them. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video gave you inspiration on what to buy on um, things that I love, that I feel like were a necessity, that I feel like are a huge part of my favorite, of what I like right now. These pieces are on rotation constantly. Um, I wear them a lot, I take them out a lot. So they're definitely things that I appreciate to have in my collection. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.